Dr. Rossi. Rachel. I know I'm bothering you. Oh, well, not really. I have to. Oh? Mr. Carson's mad at me. Really mad. Well, you know, Elliot, he's gonna have to blow off a little steam now and then. What you're gonna have no, to do is... No, no, he's really angry. What happened? I was supposed to tell Mr. Carson if I talked to Jack Chandler. Well, I talked to Jack Chandler today, and when Mr. Carson asked if I'd seen him, I said I hadn't. But he'd seen us. Rachel, why did you lie to him? I don't like people spying on me. Oh, does that sound like Elliot? I mean, do you really think he was spying on you? No. No. I shouldn't have said that. But will you talk to him? Me? Well, I can't. I mean, you're going to have to deal with this yourself. But what'll I say? Well, tell him the truth. Tell him why you didn't want him to know you were talking to Chandler. Rachel. Rachel, listen, why is it that you're still frightened of your uncle? What kind of a hold does he have on you? Why are you insisting on making Elliot mistrust you? Rachel, why? Why, why, why? Rachel, wait a minute. If you continue acting like this, how else do you expect Elliot to act? Don't you understand? If you want anyone to respect you, you're going to have to grow up. I am grown up. All right, all right. You're grown up about some things, but about others, definitely not. Then you aren't going to talk to Mr. Carson for sure. Rachel, you haven't been listening to a thing I've said, have you? Oh, yes, I've been listening. But it's just a mouthful of the same old things. What are you thinking? Nothing special. Something. I'm thinking about how little how little people really know about each other, really know. Meaning us? No, meaning everybody but us. You take the, those fishermen out there in their boats and my grandfather and his, his mansion. They're all in their, their, their own little groove. Well, that's what makes the world go round, I guess. I guess. That's not really why you're unhappy, is it, Rock? Who says I'm unhappy? Well, you're not exactly tap dancing in the street. <gasps> hey, what I said before still goes. No strings. Sure. some girl breathing down his neck all the time, and I don't intend to breathe down yours. A thousand thanks. I don't get it. Sandra Weber, you're just like every other girl I've ever known. Thanks? In one important respect. You're a girl. Brilliant deduction. And therefore, you're entitled to certain needs, certain hopes. You want to feel that a, that a man is looking out for you, that you know you're protected, that there's a special place in his and his life reserved for you. And that's only natural. Here's your coffee, Rod. Thank you, Charlie. I want you to look at me. I'm not Allison. And I have news for you, Mr. Harrington. I don't want to be put up on a pedestal because I'm too happy to be out of the mud. And as for those guys who put girls up on pedestals, well, nine times out of ten, it's to get them out of the way so they don't have to treat them like a human being. So don't do me any favors. And don't give me that routine about wants and needs. And don't call me Sandra. Hey, you know, Sandra, you're really something. 
Well, I'll bet you say that to all the girls. Mm-mm. Rod, why did you come looking for me? Well, I felt like it. You know, I mean, why especially now? Why not? Liar. You don't owe me anything. Here's to you, Sandra Weber. Here is to us. What do you mean you couldn't help us? She lied to us. It's just as simple as that. I saw the two of them together, she and Chandler. Then when I asked her about it, she denied it right to my face. Did you ever stop to think she didn't want to worry you? Worry me? Now, there you go again, Connie. Rachel. Rachel, are you all right? Rita will be taking care of the baby from now on. I'm leaving. It's better that way. Oh, Rachel, wait. I never should have come. What did you say to that girl? Why can't she see Jack Chandler? He's her uncle. Why does she have to tell you? Does she ask your permission to get up every morning? Who do you think you are, Elliot Carson? You're not even listening to me. Yes, I am listening. Why did you ask her to come here if you don't trust her? Because I thought... Because you thought. You thought you were going to get information out of her. That's the cruel truth, isn't it? Cruel? Good sex. What I thought I could get is information about Allison from her. I may have made a lot of mistakes raising Allison, but at least for 18 years she had a mother. Someone who loved her. What's Rachel ever had with the back of Jack Chandler's hand? And now yours. What do you want me to do, Connie? Forget about my daughter? To forget about Allison? I want her back. You don't have to tear Rachel apart doing it. Yes, I do, if it's the only way I can get the information from her. I don't mean that literally at all. We never should have... bringing her here to be with us. Getting to know us. And she was just beginning to... She hasn't been honest with us, Connie. I'm convinced of that now. Oh, I feel like such a fraud. She'll think that every bit of affection I ever gave her was just pretense. All our talks, getting to know each other, laughing over Matthew. Oh, Connie, Connie. Oh, I love that girl, Elliot. And if you drive her away, it'll be a long time before I forgive you. I've never seen you quite so angry. I've never been quite so angry. I want Allison back. That's my only justification. So do I. But not at the expense of Rachel. Oh, Goodbye, Matthew. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. You know Jack Chandler. Don't give me that. Why'd you hire him, Leslie? You've been laying guys off at the mill for the past year. What role do you want me to play? I just want you to be my wife. I am your wife, but we happen to be living here in the Peyton house where you wanted to live. I'm proud of you, son. I always will be. Now, why don't you go after what you want so you can be proud of yourself, too? <laughs> 